Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 A War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue our No Shots Fired run where we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty without wasting a single bullet, meaning no shots are being fired and no explosives are being used. Is it going to be possible? Who knows? We're going to see. Um, for now, we're going to free up Dr. Molly Taylor, an engineer, in Operation Hidden Omen, and I also love to counter the Undying Loyalty effect. A good side effect about that is that said uh, dark event will not uh, show up anytime soon again. So that's a major bullet dodged. We gotta recover an item from Advent, and you can rest assured that I want to bring the A team because an engineer to get it up to four engineers fantastic reward and uh, on top of that uh, countering the dark event even better we got hog bite hail up uh, we got sonar who can also deal damage and let's use roby because he is bonded with hog bite and let's take the best equipment that we do have available med kits left and right we're not going to use any of the guns, which kind of goes without saying. Roby here is tired and has a bit of problem with his moral. Uh, let's give him a frag grenade. Uh, let's also, since we will have uh, an influx of supply soon, go for one battle scanner. And I would like to suggest that we're giving the battle scanner to Sonar here. And I would furthermore like to suggest that Renman takes a med kit, mainly because he has no other job in this entire run. I mean, there's nothing that he can do. So might as well uh, make him a medic. I know, that is crazy if you think about it, but he can run to another unit and essentially heal them without reducing our DPS, that is. So let's make the best use of the situation and jump right into the mission. Here we go, guys. Very nice. Okay, so negative is we started on low ground. Second negative is we only have seven rounds to get to here. Positive is we can theoretically hack it with sonar. And that's about the only positive that I can think of for now. This is going to be a pretty tough mission. Moving up with Renvin. Not triggered anything. Moving up with Halop. Roby can move up uh, there relatively soon. Sona can stand a bit further back, that's fine. And let's use Hogbite and move up to here. Roby moves even one step further, sort of to here. Okay, I would suggest maybe there is a pack down here. There's definitely a pack kind of nearer to to the area. Haven't spotted anything. Got a group of hostiles over here. Ooh, wow, okay. Well, that's pretty far away. All right, charging. Because we got to make the best out of uh, the rounds that we do have. Ooh, that's even worse. We can't really hit them well. Well, enemy protocol can, but the rest of the crew cannot. Will do. And Roby. Let's charge to here. Here. Roger that. That's the shortest way towards the enemy. I want to make sure that he can still reach them. Don't seem to be moving at all. 
Okay, we got a problem with um, A, the amount of hit points that I'm seeing, B, with um, potentially exploding the pur purifier here. So what we could do is we could charge in, hit the purifier, and then finish it uh, with an enemy protocol. And we can use our teamwork to kind of get away from, from these guys. Let's just do a little quick check because I want to make sure that we're not poking the bear. And then there's another, then there's another pack just right inside here. Doesn't seem to be the case currently. And we're a little bit running out of time. You know what would be the worst if there would be the potential for, or there is the potential for chosen. If she would show up, that would actually make the mission quite difficult. Charging up to here. Unfortunately, no uh, blade storm yet. If at all, to be honest, we don't know if that would be the case. <laughs> Uh, that could really trigger the other pack. That's a so so much of an uh, that's an XCOM baby common. I'm not even sure how I would have known about that. I yeah, I, I predicted that they might have been down there. Yeah, that's a big maybe. Oh boy. Let's get rid of one of the purifiers first. Okay, so far so good that healed the purifier, but there are still tons and tons and tons of enemies around here. And Roby can't even move up. Not without giving a teamwork over. Probably one of the most dangerous ones is going to be the Stun Lancer here. The Viper is also dangerous, but not, but not as dangerous as the Stun Lancer. Let's see that we can get rid of the Stun Lancer without triggering the tower. If we were to position ourselves here, tower has no um, target in line of sight and we're in full cover with the exception of the priest. I can live with that. Halop unfortunately doesn't yet have a blade storm, but he does quite well. That was a pretty nice move. Now, Roby, Roby, on the other hand, um, has given Hogbite that extra action. So we can kill the Stun Lance. I'm just wondering where would we want to position ourselves afterwards, right? Having the opportunity to kill this guy and then position is a great chance for us. We can also go and parry. Perry probably wouldn't be the worst idea if we're standing up here because the purifier wouldn't be able to reach us. However, we're pretty close, so he could move up, throw a grenade. That would not be good, so no clustering up. Likewise, here. here. Could move into full cover. And move into full cover to here. It's probably a wise choice. Yeah, that here is not a bad. That's not a bad place to be honest. Full cover, really uh, nicely placed against uh, this guy, and we're not clustered up. All right.
right, Renvin will do what he's supposed to do, which is being a good <clears throat> a good tank, so to speak. Uh, tongue grab plus poison spit would be ignored by him because he has um, he has a med kit. And how can we get Roby here into position? He would be able to reach. Move into here would make it difficult. Move into here would be fantastic, but unfortunately, uh, the tower would take a shot. Currently, he can see the Advent Priest. Might as well hunker down. And ah, that is nasty. We got ourselves the assassin just when we did not need her. And I will end this quickly. Yeah, that is not good. We just picked up the chosen assassin's energy signature. She's moving on the squad's position. All right, missed the tongue grab. Spit. Yep. And that did exactly nothing. Double move. This is a shot into full cover. And yeah, we had one parry loaded up. I almost forgot about that. Move up and stasis. Yeah. Figured that that would be the case. Okay, so far so good. Let's see what else we can do. One, two. Yeah, hitting him would be incredibly satisfying at the same time, also incredibly dangerous. This one here would be a kill. This one would not be a kill. We can hit the Viper and might be able to kill it. Problem is this guy will still be alive. Uh, it's a target rich environment at the same time it is an environment where you don't want to hit the guys because this here it's just a losing proposition. Who would want to go in just to essentially explode, right? No one. No one in the right mind. But we cannot, we cannot deny that we we gotta attack somehow. So doing nothing is not an option. In other words, barely not able to move there. And I want to stay away from the tower for now. This guy here is an easy kill. I would prefer to actually slaughter the Viper. Alright, Roby's moving in. It must have dealt moderate amounts of damage. Very long charge. Lerim core and <coughs> expanded magazine. This here almost invites him to shoot a grenade, so we're not going to do that. Instead, let's continue to stay mobile. 
We know there is a soldier here. We know that that soldier cannot just climb up the wall because there is no ladder, so up here should be safe. And that forces the purifier to make a selection. Roby takes an aid protocol because he's completely standing in the open and I don't want him to just be slaughtered. We knew that the Chosen kind of started over here. Should probably give her one more turn to actually move closer. At the same time, we need to move towards the target and Sonar here is going to be the one who is going to take the hack. Hungering down so that we can be the medic if needed next turn. Perfect option now would be to Holy Warrior. I.e. that this guy here is going to Receive a Holy Warrior. That's into full cover. Come on, Holy Warrior, the Purifier. Don't just take a shot. Holy Warrior. Holy Warrior. That's what I'm talking about. Perfect. Alright, all we need to do is kill this guy and we're good. At the same time, that was a bit unfortunate. That's going to be interesting. Let's start by moving up and hitting this guy and hitting him good. It's a very solid hit. No clue why exactly the, uh, the wall down there um, gets injured when we're striking, but be it as it may. Moving up, and hopefully that's a two-for-one kill. Very nice. That is a two-for-one kill. We're going to revive Halop. Who unfortunately is pretty much disoriented. I admire your attempts at loyalty, as futile as they might be. Yeah, she didn't use Vanishing Wind. Um, Theoretically, she can just charge in and finish finish that. So the question is, are we going to evac or are we risking his life? He could heal himself, but he's disoriented. And the best course of action is probably to hunker down. It won't deter her from hitting him again, but it is unlikely. It's more likely that she comes out, harbor waves, and tries to uh, mm, extract information.
Hmm, I'm trying to find a good place. That here isn't too bad because we can move over the truck and essentially do the hack uh, whenever it's needed. At the same time, how about we're moving over? Well, this would be a perfect harbor wave. We don't want to do that. Uh, how about we're moving over to here? That way we have plenty of options to climb up and apply the med kit if needed. Only got one enemy left. That's a shot into full cover, by the way. She's now vanishing, which means she could be anywhere, really. She could be up here, unlikely. She could be down here or anywhere back here. She's probably not going to be there, uh, but she might be anywhere over here. Nope, did not find her. All right, Roby kills this guy. Enemy destroyed. They fall just as they serve, without question or regret. All right, moving up. Again, moving up. Ooh, look at that. This might sting a little. Halop is cured and at least out of um, imminent death zone. Tower is still a problem. Let's give Halo here an aid protocol. Yeah, the tower probably will shoot at the best target, which is likely going to be Hogbite. So let's give Hogbite uh, the aid protocol. He needs to be in tip top form. We can't afford having him on the sick bay in the sick bay. Hover wave? Hover wave? The elders possess many gifts. Where they see you, they send me. Alright, moving in. Just want to make sure that we're good. That's probably not going to kill it. But we can start to at least get it down. Harry is all we needed. And good old Roby. Could move all the way up there and take a uh, take cover. Move. Renwin moves up. Halo could theoretically, with max damage, kill the tower. Unlikely to happen.
Instead, let's position him into full cover here. And yeah, Roby can be moved into full cover. We can't fight the Chosen when she's just going to flee like that. Anchoring down. Like I said, theoretically, yes. Practically, well, it's a 33% chance. And we would uh, offer a second target for the tower. Now it is going to shoot Hogbite and it's going to deal zero damage. Which is fine. There's the parry. Oh, she has just started to burn. The next world awaits you. Consider yourself lucky. Most would not survive such a strike. Bent, not broken. Faced with the prospect of death, your soldiers grasp at any means to delay their passage. What will they tell me? Were I to grant them mercy? I'm we're not going to spill the beans. Where is she gone to? Well, that's the question. System infiltration in progress. Okay, it's a tough one. I like the scanning bonus, but this here would buy us about six days of time. Um, on our current project ah, unfortunately we were not successful that is disheartening could have got, uh, gotten plated armor even for uh, faster oh that is great but the reinforcements are a big problem as well Roby moves over here. Still can't see her, really. This almost asks for a harbor wave or for a grenade. All right, moving up. Your overconfidence will be your undoing, Templar. On the move. Moving up as well, just to not cluster up. Yeah, and the aid protocol will not help us at all. Instead, we're moving to the window so that we theoretically can see her. Burning doesn't sh uh, seem to stop her, really. Summoning was one action, and she is trying to run away. Harbor waving is the second. Very nice hit. I will deliver you to the next world without delay. Come on, get back. All right, that's one. Unfortunately, disoriented. That is two. Unfortunately, disoriented. Can't reach anyone. Renvin's moving away again. Of 
could kill this guy, but we're not going to do it. Instead, we're focusing on the assassin. Very nice. Hawkbite can take her in a one on one. Robby moves and Halop moves as well. Both are in full cover. Let's give Robby here a plus 20 to his cover. And we don't have a combat protocol ready. Um, or no sight, shall I rather say. We have combat protocol ready. We can't see her. Interesting. I heard an opening of a door, which sort of tells me she might be in here. See, if you're just listening well enough, then things are going to go your way eventually. There we go. Wonderful. Going to parry. And how fitting that the combat protocol would judge her. Smite her. And destroy her. Wonderful. Very good. Gotta hate the assassin. But it is always fun to fight against her. Okay, we're still very much um, disoriented. That's okay. Shot into full cover and hunkering down. Well, guess what? Halo is going to say thank you. And we get some loot on top of it. Very nice. Oh boy. Got five additional ability points. And as always, we took a little bit of uh, hi um, of hits. Um, but there is only so much you can do against the assassin. If you don't kill her right away, it's getting tough. 47 days. Okay, I think Halob will need to recover quite a bit. 23 days for Roby is also... Wow. Yeah, but 47 days, I think... I think that's one of the longest recovery times that I've ever seen. Like, pretty much ever. Wow. Yeah, scope can't use it, autoloader can't use it, advanced expanded magazine can't use it, and LRM core maybe, but that's a big maybe. Hello, Commander. Commander, having these two soldiers. No, we're not going to bond. They know each other well enough at this point that we can have them train as a pair for additional tactical capabilities. So we got four. Four uh, mm, engineers. Maybe we're going to speed up the proving round, so we need to do that. Not necessarily. Training center is more important at this point, and probably clearing up alien debris. To know that it wasn't all for nothing. Trust me. That is a convenient one. We only need a single uh, mm, engineer to clear that.
Nice. Resistance contact is really, really good. I think we're going to do that. Because with that, we could theoretically jump over and start freeing up um, portions of Asia. We generally want to have that facility here available. And finally, we got uh, Tracy St. Elliot, who is joining us as another specialist we theoretically only got quick um, feed and the question is if we were to train him what do we want to do yet another ranger or another specialist i'm not 100 percent sure to be honest because we are okay and i don't want to have only squaddies right if you look at the classes we got four rangers okay albeit two of them being pretty gravely wounded and we got a Templar, we got two Specialists. Okay. Maybe we're taking a fifth Ranger, but let's think that through and be smart about it. We're going to have a few people being tired and wounded. That is normal. We want two Templars. We want uh, probably four or five Rangers. Um... We want a lot of psi operatives and we always want a few specialists. We do have three specialists, so that should be fine for now. But yeah, I can see a I can see a utilization for even another ranger. It's crazy. But, but we're down to I mean skirmisher is another option. But yeah, we're mostly down to rangers at this point. So might as well go for yet another ranger. Just because we don't have the means of um, getting psi operatives yet. And we're going to continue taking injuries, if not even losses. So yeah, I just talked myself into, after considering it, into getting one final ranger quick feed will get a spot as a ranger and now it is time to hopefully get some resistance contacts very soon we're going to get the reapers not the biggest fan of the reaper in this run because we can't really do much with it but it's okay i suppose And I mean, I guess you could argue before taking kind of a meat sack uh, with you, you might as well take the Reaper with you. Supply drop increase is good, plus one resistance context is also not bad. And yeah, we got uh, we got sh uh, shadow here. And with the stealth and just revealing enemies, you could make an argumentation that that is not bad. Also, she can effectively solo the um, facilities. Yeah, so I guess it's somewhat worth it. Perfect. We got ourselves the training facility. Commander, this facility will allow our soldiers to train together to improve their... And that is important because now people like Sonar here can get the medical protocol right away. Not even uh, going to think twice about it. It's just so good to have both of these skills. Specialists really benefit uh, from it. Uh, Sane does not yet have the promotion, which is fine. Yeah, we we don't need any of uh, that, not yet. Commander, each of 
our soldiers is raided based on their understanding of They're nice gifted. Oh, that is indeed pretty good. Uh, I wouldn't go for Phantom. Maybe he can take something else. Oh, it's going to work for him later. Yeah, okay. Looks fine for now, I would say. Don't need to retrain any of the abilities. Very good. And soon we're hopefully going to be able to get bonds and improve them. But that really didn't work out so well yet. Uh, before I make the same mistake again, let's uh, deploy this guy in here and speed up the proving grounds. Or alternatively, let's start excavation here. Yeah, we're, we'll probably need two for now. Let's just speed that up and we're going to be fine. Good. Got another uh, training, uh, another contact. We're eight days out and we could get supplies. Probably not necessarily needed. Let's visit the black market to get some more. Uh, by by selling stuff that we don't need. Yeah, nothing that we need in terms of uh, selling alloys. And delirium can sell a bit of that. Nothing of it looks like the, um, they are very interested in. I would wait until they are very interested. We don't need money right away. Um, let's get the supply drop, uh, although we could wait a few days just so that we can cash in now and make sure that we're affluent when, Commander, when needed. And surprisingly enough, we're being challenged once again. Time for Operation Spectral Fog as another Haven Assault uh, comes into play. That brings us to the end of uh, today's episodes, guys. Um, I think it was an interesting one. Uh, let's see how we're going to prevail against this onslaught here the next time. We, It, it comes at an... At a problematic um, point in time, because if you look at the plated armor, right, what I wanted to do is effectively get it done a bit earlier. And had we just made the hack, we would have already gotten it. But it is what it is now. It's a little bit of should have, uh, could have, would have. Uh, mm, we didn't make it. So we're going in with yet again no plated armor. The good news, though, is before the end of uh, the uh, before the end of the month, we're going to have plated armor, and then hopefully the supply drop. The other uh, point that we would want to do afterwards is probably doing the stun lancer, because that upgrades all of the swords, and uh, that's pretty good. So armor, the armor upgrades uh, the Templar weapon on top of it, which means Hogbite is just doing even more damage. This here upgrades uh, the swords, which means they will do even more damage. So that is fantastic. And maybe we're going to go for a turret uh, breakdown, not only for defense metrics, which by itself is great. Um, no, that's, that's all we get out of here. Experimental weapons could be a thing for uh, to get the axe. Well, it's not bad. But to be honest, it's probably Stun Lancer into Psionics because we want to get Psionics done as well. Uh, as well. So that's it. And uh, that brings us to the end of today's episode. If you haven't subscribed, click the subscribe button. Um, and if you haven't liked or commented on the video, consider maybe doing it this time. It helps the channel and it would do me a favor. Thank you and see you in the next mission, guys. Bye-bye.